Hey guys, it's your girl Risa coming to you real quick. I'm doing this from my phone. Don't know how much room is on here, so I'm going to get started. I've already peeled my sweet potatoes and drained them. And this is what I have. Somebody asked me to show you how I make my sweet potato pie. So in my bowl, I have already taken the skin off. I usually roast them in the oven, but because my oven is busy, I went ahead and boiled them. And it was a lot quicker than letting them roast in the oven, okay? So I've drained the liquid off. I have added um, two cups of sugar, white sugar, okay? Now I'm going to add, and my butter is not soft because I hadn't planned on making sweet potato pies. So my daughter just went to the store and got me two pie shells, and the rest I'll take and freeze it. I am going to cut up one whole stick of butter to start with, and I'm eventually going to wind up using two sticks of butter. Okay, and this was not an entire stick, so I'm going to um, just start with that. Okay, so you're going to need white sugar, butter, eggs, cinnamon. Okay, now some people do add um, flour to bind it. Some people add nutmeg. Some people may add lemon flavor. I add vanilla flavor, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend, mix this up first to get to see if I have any strings, which you shouldn't, okay? Because when I peeled my potatoes, I always start from the end. And the end will pull, when you pull it, it pulls off the strings, okay? potatoes are still warm that butter is going to melt now I would prefer you do this when your butter is actually room temperature okay so don't don't follow me and do it when your butter is uh, frozen okay so what I'm gonna do is cut up my butter and I'm going to put it in the microwave for a few seconds to soften it up. It used to be a time, you know, when I'm cooking in the kitchen, I didn't like to my hands to feel all dirty and nasty, which I still don't to a certain extent. But there's something about preparing a meal. Make sure your hands are clean. Dot com, okay? Start off with 15 seconds at a time is what I'm doing. Everybody's microwave is different. Some are a little more powerful than others.
So we're going to see how that does, okay? Okay, it's almost melted. Stir it around, it will melt. And just pour that over in there, okay? All that goodness. Now I am going to add some brown sugar. And I didn't mention that because it's up to the individual person, okay? I like the fact that this brown sugar, the dark brown sugar, uh, wait, this is light brown. Hold on a minute. Let me see if I got any dark brown sugar. If not, I will be using light brown sugar. So I will be using light brown. I like dark brown because of the molasses. It's just rich, okay? Put a cup of brown sugar in there, okay? Where is my... Here's my cinnamon. I'm going to put a tablespoon of cinnamon because I have a lot of potatoes here. Now, I will prefer that you measure, but I go by sight, okay? If you don't know what you're doing. Okay. I have a little corner of nutmeg I'm going to add. I don't usually use it, but it will just give it a slight. I use a little bit, not a lot. And you see how much is in there? barely anything in it and that's all I need and that's a half a teaspoon okay now I'm gonna blend this together scrape the sides bring all that those that's on the side to the middle you want to incorporate all of that go from the bottom bring it to the top And give it a little taste because I have not added my need a little something else let's see I think it might need a little more sugar and I haven't added the flavor hit the back of my tongue yeah it did Mm-hmm. Like I'm gonna add a little more sugar. Dang. 
that's about a cup and a half. And I'm having to add more sugar because this, to me, generic sugar, you use more of it. I like Dixie Crystal. I'm not promoting any products, but that's just what I like. And let's see what else I'm going to add. I'm going to add a pinch of salt. Okay. Now, I bought some vanilla, you guys. I bought this from the store that I go to called Rose. It's imitation vanilla. But when I tell you, this stuff smells so awesome. It smells wonderful. It smells just like authentic vanilla. Some of them have a different... I could wear that as perfume. Do y'all hear me? So I have two different kinds. Of, they're not vanilla extract these are vanilla flavorings okay and i don't like vanilla flavors but i said i would give them a try okay this old dude here don't want to open and i'm not finna struggle i'm having problems with my fingers y'all these two fingers on this hand have been causing me some problems so i have one already open yes and this is what I keep my flavor in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some of this in here and mix it with the vanilla extract that I purchased that I said I wasn't going to use but I'm going to try it. So I'm going to mix half and half. See I used half of that bottle. And this is the vanilla flavoring that I use, that I bought. And I said I wasn't going to use it because it has too much bourbon in it. But I'm going to mix a little bit with this and see if... Oh, darn, that smells like liquor. Do you hear me? See if it tone it down a little bit. So I got that mixed together. Mm, let's see what it do. I'm going to add some of this. About two tablespoons. There we go. Now I'm going to beat up my egg. And I have some brown eggs, you guys, that I got from the flea market. These are some nice size eggs. These are the size eggs that I like to use when I'm baking, period. You see that? That's a nice size egg. That covers the palm of your hand. Some of these eggs that they pass off as large eggs, they are bold faced lie, and the truth ain't in them. That's a large egg. Do y'all hear me? So I have two. Wash my hands. I dip my hands in my dishwater. The dishwater has a lot of bleach in it. Dump my eggs in there. Let's get the blender.
pull it going around those edges. You need to pull it all into the center. Now, I wouldn't take this long to beat up the cake. It'll make the cake tough. I'm splattering it everywhere. That's why I put on clothes that I can cook in. What I do with my dish rag? Pour some of this out of here into a storage container that I could put in the freezer. So this part is going in the freezer. Just as soon as I find a lid. How about that? So I'm scraping my sides of my bowl. And that is how you make sweet potato pie. All you do now, pour your stuff into your pie shells. Bake at 325 for about, check it after about 20 minutes, okay? Everybody's oven is different, okay? So you check it after 20 minutes. If you stick your knife in and it comes out clean, it's done. But if not, you leave it in for another 20 minutes. Make sure you keep your eye on it. I can never give people a, a time on when to take something out and you just have to check it. You know if it's done, if you stick like, with your cakes and your pies, you know it's done. Your pies are not jiggling on top. When you barely, if you kind of shake it a little bit, it does not move unless you know it's done, okay? All right? So that is how I put together my sweet potato pies. I hope you guys learned something from this. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And it's your girl, Risa Ree, y'all. I'll be back. Bye soon.